Coach, tough loss today. Tough loss this weekend. How are the players? Oh, they're not. They're, they're a little upset, but that's because they're competitors and they don't like to lose. If you took something amazing from today, if you could give the belt out today, who would you give it to? Brandon. Brandon Wick. He was very happy for him. We talk about emptying the tank when you play, and he definitely emptied it into the garbage can when he was playing so hard. I noticed that Nate Klein kind of messed up his back out there. Is he okay? Uh, I think he'll be okay. You know, just a little muscle soreness. Um, just got to get some heat and ice on it, and it'll be all right. I noticed the senior parents out there did a lot of stuff for the, for the athletes out there. How did that go? Did that help them a little bit with the stinging um, loss? Yeah, a little bit, but no, you know, I, I think they just kind of want to get get in and out at this point. You know, just want to get back and get re, uh, regroup for, uh, for Tuesday. We'll see you on Tuesday, Coach. All right, thank you. All right, bye-bye.
Good afternoon. Welcome to Casanova, New York. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. I have help for this game. Intern Kenny is here, which I'm happy to have him here because he's been gone for six months. Tonight, starters for NBU Johnson is going to be Adahine, Adahine, Paris Adahine, six, as 5'3 freshman from Buckeye, Arizona. And then Cora Bordeaux, guard senior, 5'5 from Eden, Vermont. Kamara Parker, guard freshman, 5'7 from Phoenix, Arizona. Haley Till Tillotson, guard senior, 5'7 from Peachum, Vermont. And Gabriel Wardwell, center, 6'1 from Springfield. Tonight's starters are going to be... <laughs> I will make sure that I have doing this correctly because, you know, it's important that I do. For your Casanova Wildcats, your starters tonight. Number 10, Riley Miner. Number 11, Ariana Henry. Number 14, Lucia Livero. Number 21, Mackenzie Bennett. And always my favorite, number 23, Fiona Hunt. About ready for the second games, two of two. It's been a long weekend. I had two yesterday and two today. So, intern Kenny, introduce yourself again. Hello, everybody. It's Kenny Beeman. Just really, really happy to be back here. I know I was gone for winter break, and I'm just happy to uh, be helping out here today. It's going to be a good game. He's going to do my stats for me, and uh, my uh, camera guy did an awesome job. So we're going to we're definitely going to uh, entertaining tonight. Let's talk some baseball tonight too. You know what? To we'll talk some Cavs baseball. So Mackenzie Bennett is in for the jump ball along with uh, Gabriella Wardwell. Both of them are pretty tall. So Miner gets the ball, and there she goes. Oh, she misses it, puts it right back up, and got it taken away from her on the jump ball. NVU Johnson bringing it across the timeline. Good defense by Kaz. Long shot by Tillerson. Rebound by, oh. Livero. Livero's going to bring it across the timeline. Gets it to Mackenzie Bennett. To Miner. Ariana Henry. She's going to make that move. Look at that. Two to nothing at 922 in the first quarter over NVU Johnson. Long shot by NVU Johnson. Rebound off NVU Johnson. Going to be Casanova ball. So you're bringing some luck to him. Hey, if anything helps, anything helps. As Lucia Levero brings it up half court now. Dribbling. Pass outlet to Bennett. Back over to Hunt. Hunt dribbling, driving. Back in the corner to Levero. And it's good. A three-pointer from the corner. What a shot. And that'll be... Looks like referees are calling for a stop real quick. That was a beautiful shot by Lucirio Levero. <laughs> the mom's going to call and complain. Lucirio Livero is her name. I'm going to make sure I say it several times. Look, So, NVU Johnson, long shot. Wow. What a shot. That was by, that was by Ad Adahim. Livero brings it over to Fiona Hunt. Fiona... Going to make that move inside. She double dribbled, though. That was a good move, though. She has gotten more aggressive, Kenny. And she is, they, they got some inspiration yesterday. 8.23 left. Castellanova leads 5-3 over NVU Johnson. NVU Johnson looking for the open person. Long shot by Adahim. That's two in a row she's hit in the corner. They really need to put a little defense on that. Five to five with 8.08 left in the game. The intern over here is doing the score. 
He didn't do the clock. The other guy didn't do the clock. I don't know why. It's not set up. So five to five with eight minutes left. Good defense by Adaheen. And she gets fouled by Ariana Henry. She's not going to get that shot. Ariana Henry is not going to allow that to happen. Really got to make her earn those two points here. Exactly. She's not going to give it to her easy. So two shots by Adaheen. First shot she makes. So six to five, NVU Johnson leads, 753 left in the first quarter. There seems to be a break in play. We don't know what the um, break was for, but okay. Second shot by Adaheen for NVU Johnson. She shoots the shot and makes it. So seven to five, NVU Johnson over Casnovia. Seven to five. Liberio brings it across the timeline. She is a very quick guard. She'll go all the way to the, ball, to the hole there, and she almost got fouled. I thought she got fouled. Bordeaux brought it back, stole it from her, and brought it back over the court. Long shot by Adaheen. And rebound by Wardwell. And then Mackenzie Bennett brings it back up. And now Liberal's got it. Setting up for Miner. Miner's one of those quick guards that likes to throw the ball. There's Mackenzie Bennett with that sweet little shot. What a pretty shot by Mackenzie Bennett. Seven to seven with 7.04 left in the first quarter. You can talk any time you want to there, intern. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just letting you do you, and when my time's a shine, my time's a shine. <laughs> so a block for with MU Johnson. So Liverpool's going to take it out to Ariana Henry. I'll tell you what, Coach Jackson looks smooth today. Nice suit. He does have a little style going on. I mean, it looks like, what is that, like a dark purple there? Yeah, I'm liking that. He looks smooth today. A little shot by Mackenzie Bennett. It was short. So it's going to be NBU Johnson's ball. So Adaheen brings it across the timeline. Looks like uh, we're in a 2-3 zone. That's a good nail. Oh, we got a jump ball between Fiona Hunt and Wardwell. So it's still going to be NBU Johnson. It will be Cavs ball next time we have one of those. We didn't have many of those last night at all. 7-7 seven seven with 6.29 left in the game in the first quarter. Rebound Fiona Hunt. Gives it to Ariana Henry. Henry sees McKenzie Bennett. Oh, a little short. Adaheen brings it back across timeline. She was a swifty little guard. Oh, oh, yes. Mackenzie Bennett said, no, sorry, you're not getting that very easily. And knocks down Miner, too. You know that was a hard foul. Yeah, kind of an awkward play there. She kind of, like, pushed her in the back, and it went right into Miner, but glad to see everybody's okay. So we get two shots for... Wardwell. Durden comes in with Edaheen in the back. First one by Wardwell is good. Eight to seven with 6.09 left in the first quarter. It looks like NVU Johnson's getting ready to pull some people. So, two more coming out. So, Wardwell comes out and Tolson comes out. So starters for Casanova, Livero, Ariana Henry, Fiona Hunt, Mackenzie Bennett, and Miner. Miner reminds me of Go 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 Gadget. He just goes and goes and goes. Mackenzie, oh, Fiona took it back up. Then she gets it back. 
Very good play by Fiona Hunt. Minor good shot, McKinsey Bennett. Gonna get a two-shotter. Hard. But she made it. Both teams playing really, really hard today. Really like to see a lot of good defense here. Nine to seven, NVU Johnson leads with 542. Two shots for McKenzie Bennett. Second shot, first shot. It's good. Nine to eight with 542 left. One more. Fiona Hunt and Livero on the line with McKenzie Bennett. Boom. Nine to nine with 542 left in the first quarter. Adheen brings it back across the timeline. She lets it rip. What a pretty, pretty three pointer there. 12 to nine, NVU Johnson. So Ariana Henry brings it across the timeline. Side out by Livero. Henry's gonna go inside. She thought she got fouled. Last touch by NVU Johnson. My soccer team's over here messing up my banner. Can't pay them good money at all. Them parents gonna be mad at you. There goes a minor. Good a shot to uh, Fiona Hunt. What a pretty shot by Fiona Hunt. 12 to 11, NVU Johnson leads with 5.04. Keeping this really close. Short by, shot by NVU Johnson's house, who did not get it. Livero brings it across the timeline. Sets up a play. Ariana Henry, McKenzie, Bennett, Livero, Miner looking for the ball. There's Livero. She got a sweet little move. Oh, she got hit hard. No foul. 12 to 11, NVU Johnson with 417 left. Hello, Angie Beck. It's Muncie. Byron Stewart Jr. Trina K. What's up, guys? Out by NVU Johnson. Side out. Casanova brings it. 12 11 with 411 left in the first quarter. If you didn't know, the women's basketball plays 10-minute quarters. So foul on Barry. So side out for side out for uh, Casnovia. There we go. Gets it out to McKenzie Bennett. Back to Fiona Hunt. Back to Ariana Henry. Two. Oh, Livero stepped on the line. Ball. So a turnover by Casanova. 12 to 11 with four minutes left in the first quarter. As I said, women play 10-minute quarters instead of two 20-minute halves. I think they should play 20-minute halves like the guys. Make it all uniform. Oh, what a steal by Ariana Henry. She's got a, got a block by, let's see if I can get her number, 13. That would be House. So, look to be, I thought it was going to be two shots, but it's not. Uh, NVU Johnson has had four team fouls. Kaz has got two. Liberal takes it out. McKenzie Bennett on the inside, and she got blocked. Oh, now we're going to have a jump ball. It's going to go to Kaz Ball. So reset, uh, shot clock, and alternate goes back to NVU Johnson. McKenzie Bennett to Livero. And Livero taking that long shot. What a pretty shot by Livero. 13 to 12 with 328 left. Kaz leads. And a nice shot by Wardwell. 
on with a great defense by Fiona Hunt. Livero brings it back across to Miner. McKenzie Bennett going to take it on the inside. A little swoop and turn. She thought she got fouled, but she didn't. Adeline bringing it back. Looking for the long shot. And rebound, Henry. Henry going to bring it back with three defenders and shoot. Going to be short. She might, waiting on defenders. Adeheen gets blocked. Gets a call block on Miner. So MBU Johnson is going to bring three more players in. So we're going to have a timeout, full timeout here in Casanova, New York, where NVU Johnson leads 14 to 13 with 2.36 left in the first quarter. My name is John Christopher with the intern, Kenny, and the, all so the whole soccer team up here. We'll be right back. Yes, the cut downs have started. I've already been called a senior citizen. That's not till 55. I'm 52. I said my picture's not up there, and he said that's only for uh, young cats, not senior citizens. I said it was for senior day, not senior citizens. Right? So, he, you know, he's only 19, 20 years old. He's a young cat. 21, I'm sorry. He's old enough. Rebound by Miner off a missed shot by NBU Johnson. Miner looking, oh my goodness. There it goes, Livero. What a pretty shot by Livero. 16 to 14. 205 left. Livero's on fire. Last night, Ariana Henry was on fire. Tonight, Livero's tired. She wanted to win this thing. Rebound by Miner. She didn't get fouled or nothing. I don't think so. She wouldn't have fell on the ground. She did. Rebound by Miner. Justification. There you go. Miner's coming, going through the middle. She gets past the liver. Oh, bottom baby! 1914. 129 left in the first quarter. Lucia is fired up right now, and that's what you love to see from a senior. Senior day. She deserves it. Oh, going to call a foul on Livero. That's her second, I believe. The senior players for the men are taking their, their banners home or going to put them in their dorm or something. What they should do is take their uniforms and put that in a frame and then do that too. That's what I have planned when I'm done playing here. Exactly. Y'all better watch him. He's going to be the police. So Liverpool gets the uh, short shot from NBU Johnson. Long shot. Oh, she made a move. Fiona Hunt. What a pretty move by Fiona Hunt. 21-14 with 102 left. She walked like all the way to Park Hall and back. What a play by Wardwell. She had five people on her, and she still got it. Oh, Miner's going to bring it back. Back to Livero. Livero brings it across. Fiona Hunt to Livero. Livero going to make that shot. Inside to Miner. Oh. She got it back to Livero. She fell, but she had to got it right back to Livero. Shot by McKenzie Bennett. 
short, but rebound by Adam Adenine. Shot by Adenine, rebound, minor. She's probably got 10 rebounds. Two point seconds left. She gonna shoot it. Oh, so the end of one quarter. I can happily say, Casanova Wildcats 21. NVU Johnson, 16. We'll be right back. Breaking news on YouTube, Tom Brady has just retired. So I will break that as soon as I can. So second quarter starting, I'm proud to say, Casanova is leading 21-16 with 10 minutes to go. NVU Johnson gets a shot off and rebound by Ariana Henry, who's motivated. Oh. That's a charge. She had the position. If she just moved a little bit, it would have been a block. 9.48 left in the second quarter. 21-16, Casanova leads. Coach had lost the coat, though. He's looking pretty suave. He was looking really good in that suit. He looking like a little young Walt Clyde Frazier. He's silent and profiling over there, but he's getting a little too hot right now. He had to take the jacket off. Yes, so MVU Johnson is getting ready to find the open open person, and they get it to Wardwell. Easy play for Wardwell. 21-18 with 9.24 left. So Livero is going to bring it across the timeline to Minor, to Mackenzie Bennett. Ariana Henry had an open shot. Nice play by Ariana Henry. 23-18 with 9.04 left. Cannot believe Tom Brady has retired. That just means Tampa Bay will lose half their team, and they're all, Gronk's going to retire. Mike Evans is done. And Byron Leftwich is going to be Jacksonville's new coach. What do they have left? Bruce Arians. If I was Arians, I'd probably get out of there too. I'd probably retire, but you know that's that's what as uh, she makes a shot. That's that's what you know. That's the rough thing about sports. You know, you, you have a key player retire like that, and it, it's the same thing here in college. You have your seniors head out, and it might seem like a rough time as the second shot is made. But you know, you just gotta you just gotta get through the rough times, and and eventually, you'll you'll be at the place that you want to be. Yes, it is. Henry brings it across the timeline. That was Gunnell that made both of those shots. Henry's going to make that shot. Yes! What a drive by Henry. 25-20 with 8.42 left in the second quarter. My intern's over here talking on the, on the text. And he's telling everybody up in Long Island that uh, Tom Brady's gone. He's crying. I'm happy to say the Atlanta Falcons may win the conference, may win the uh, South again. <laughs> 8.27 left in the second quarter. That's big news. Tom Brady will have a TV gig before. Do you think uh, New Orleans' coach goes to Dallas? I'm curious. Fiona Hunt. Oh, look, Destiny Piters is in. So we have Fiona Hunt, Ariana Henry, and... Let's see here. Fiona Hunt, Henry, Miner, Piters, 
and Mackenzie Bennett for Casanova. NVU Johnson bringing it across. They have a 2-3 zone at this time. They played a lot of 1-3-1 uh, one, one, and 2-3 last night. Inspiring game last night for the women's game. I was I was hoarse going home. Rebound by Piters. Oh, Piters got the ball. Oh, she cut. Oh, she got it back. Piters threw it back to Fiona Hunt and did not see Minor to her Minor to her left. I got a question for you, and just how would you feel if Matt Ryan signed with the Bucks? If Matt Ryan signed with the Bucks, they're going to lose. Matt Ryan is, is washed. It's time for him to retire as well. Shot by NVU's Johnson. Rebound by Fiona Hunt. Ariana Henry brings it across the timeline. Now, if Josh Allen retired, that might be significant. And then if Mahomes retires, Mr. $200 million man, He'll get, he may be, him and Josh Allen may be the closest ones to catch up with uh, Tom Brady. But you know what? I think Tom Brady saw the writing on the wall because that last game that he played, and I'm going to be realistic here, the last game he played that he lost, his passes weren't crisp, and I'll be honest with you, he looked like Peyton Manning the last game before he retired. Couldn't get the ball to him or nothing. And his family, his kids are like, Dad, stay home. Seven minutes left in the second quarter. Casanova leaves 25-21. If you agree, leave a comment on there. If you don't agree, I mean, I'm on Facebook too, but that's the truth. Two shots by um, NBU Johnson. It could be a timeout by Casanova. Uh, I don't know if it's a full timeout. Timeout. Uh, reset the shot clock with 701. We're going to take a small break and come back. He did not almost pull that off. He looked terrible. He should have waved or something. But you got Big Ben gone, Tom Brady gone. Both of them are one first ballot Hall of Famers. Although the way the Hall of Fame's working in baseball, that was terrible. They need to put Pete Rose in. <laughs> Destiny Piters to Ariana Henry, and she kicks the ball to Fiona. Piters is looking for the open shot. Gets it to Henry. Henry to Fiona Hunt. Boy, they got some slapping going on there. And Henry, nice little 15-foot shot. 27-22 with 6.28 left in the second quarter. Coach had a good plan for today. Scattered them real – oh. Henry ran into her. Floor may be a little slick. Adeheen comes back in. I was talking to Coach Jackson before uh, before the games today. As I, we had practice this morning, I was getting some ice, and I asked him how he felt about today, and he, he felt really confident. He thought that they were going to pull this one off today. Well, that would be great if they do. First shot by um, Bordeaux missed. 6.17 left, 27.22 Cavs leads. Second shot, missed, rebound by Miner. I bet she's got 10 rebounds already. Miner is a scrappy little player. Gets it to McKenzie Bennett. I'm glad McKenzie was tall. That was a big, big, tall throw. 
There's Miner for Livero. Miner looking for that open slot. There's back to Livero. Livero trying to set it up. Two, oh, that was a kind of try to drop it over to McKenzie. I mean to Fiona. It just didn't work. Long shot, not good. Rebound, Livero. Oh, loose ball back to Adaheen. So NB Johnson. 24, going to be a timeout by NVU Johnson. 27-24, 5.32 left. Coach is excited. I don't know why. He, he, he ran out in the middle of the court and just started yelling, screaming, timeout. Very, very animated, but got to love the passion for the game. Yes. And Coach Johnson, uh, somebody is upset. They got the clipboard on the ground. We'll be right back after this break. The Jets? Tell me what the Jets have got, fans. <laughs> exactly. That's all that matters. Very passionate fans like myself and my family back home. We were out there in a freezing cold against the Jaguars, and, and they pulled off that win. Y'all need a quarterback, or you need a coach. Do you see the Giants signed for a coach? That might make them legit. Livero brings it across the timeline to Destiny Piters, to McKenzie Bennett. McKenzie bit. Oh my goodness. There goes a minor all the way to Livero. Livero gonna take the slap at Fiona Hot. Yeah, almost. Almost. She gonna see me this week and say, you said my name a lot. <laughs> NVU Johnson's editing brings it across the timeline. 27-24. Oh, nice play by Barry. 27-26 with 4.49 left in the second quarter. McKenzie Bennett to Destiny Piters. Piters is looking for the open man. Oh, ooh, she was wide open. No, please don't throw it over there. Back to Fiona Hunt. Screen, there's a McKenzie Bennett. Back to Livero. Going to shoot. And a turnover. Oh, she must have got the shot off in time. Not quite sure why the refs didn't call the, uh, as the basket's made there, I'm not quite sure why the refs didn't stop the play there. Usually when the shot clock goes off and you miss it, they got to stop the play. I'm not sure why they didn't, but. They're watching the game like we are. 28-27. NVU Johnson takes the lead with four minutes left. Livero almost got picked there to Miner. Miner's, Miner's, Miner's going to get a get a one and one there. Nope, she's going to get an out. Going to be a side out. Casomia has five fouls. Uh, NVU Johnson only has one for the second quarter. Destiny Piters to Miner, who shoots. Oh, no rebound there. Rebound by editing by NVU Johnson. A good pass, but she didn't. It was cut off by McKenzie Bennett. Good defense. They're looking for the open. They're going to give it to the tall girl. Fiona had great position on that. I believe that was a three. No, a two. 30 to 27, 315 left in the quarter. Boy, if Piters could get hot, they would be in trouble. She traveled. K 
Katie Collins, senior guard from Manuas, New York. Bishop Grimes High School comes in, and Piters is upset, so she's trying to cool down. A uh, discussion with the scorekeeper, 30 to 27 with 303 left. They're saying that, uh, I'm not sure what they're saying. I think they might be possibly reviewing to see if her foot was on a line and talking to each other, because I'm not sure if they gave the three or the two points. They gave the two points, but I'm not sure if it was supposed to be a three. I, I would go with the two and leave it at that. If it was for us, though, I'd give it a three. Right. So what's your opinion on the lockout? I really hope it ends soon. I can't wait for baseball to start up again. Go Braves. Absolutely not. It's the Mets. This is a Mets town. Oh, no. You know, I'm going to – I bleed orange. I, I've, I love Castle, but, you know, I wear orange all the time. But I will buy me a Braves hat to wear during baseball season. And I'll take it right off your head because I'm not having that around there. I don't know. You wear a Washington Nationals hat. That's because I have a friend on the Nationals that won the World Series with them. So they're taking the teams to the um, to the co to the uh, bench. Yeah, he doesn't know who he belongs to really, because you know you wear Washington Nationals one day. Oh, now I'm using my friend because he pitches there, and then he wears a, a Mets hat, and I'm like. I thought you were a Mets fan, so I mean, he's a little mixed up here. I'm a diehard Mets fan, but you know what it's called? It's called having style. Although that is on my list to, to go. When you graduate, maybe we can go see a Mets game. That would be fun. A little Mets Braves action? I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. There's always good action with that one. Yeah, that would be cool to go see the Braves and, and the Mets. You had to watch either DeGrom or Scherzer shut your team out. Yeah, absolutely. The Grom is, is, is about done. He needs to retire. Absolutely not. He's one of the, he's one of the best pitchers. In, he's probably, he is the best pitcher in the game. I'll say it right now. And, and the second best pitcher in New York is Max Scherzer for all my Yankee fans out there. Cole's number three. <laughs> you got to make sure you put your friend in there. <laughs> but he's, he, he's a Washington national, so he doesn't count in the, in the New York ones. Anyways, back to basketball. Yeah, I don't know what they're – Livero is shooting a technical foul. Is that what I'm thinking this is? Technical foul. Two shots. It is a technical foul for two shots for Livero. Lucia Livero. Bottom. She is a senior guard, 5'8", from Amsterdam, New York. Amsterdam High School. I have so many people up here that I know, my favorite people. So now we hit both of these, 30 to 28 with only one, 30 to 28 with 303 left. So Adedine brings it across the timeline from NBU Johnson. People forget this is NCAA college basketball. Oh, Fiona just took it from her. Just took it from her arms. Livero brings it across. Miner make a little move. Look at that. Rebound by Miner, who gets fouled. She is scrappy. She's a little slow to get up, but looks like she hit her elbows on the floor there. Well, see, she did that yesterday, too. She hit them elbows yesterday, too. But you know what? She's scrappy. She is a blue-collar, scrappy basketball player. But side out by Livero. Gets it to McKenzie Bennett, who shoots. Short rebound by Adeline of NDU Johnson. And oh, what a block by McKenzie Bennett. Nice play. Long shot by NDU Johnson. Rebound by... Katie Collins, the senior who got it taken away. So she gets back. Adding, trying to do a drive to 
Wardwell. That seems to be their offense is Wardwell. 30 to 28 with two minutes left before the half. Liverell brings it across the timeline. Miner looking for Fiona Hunt to McKenzie Bennett. There's Miner. What an easy shot. What a pretty play. 32, 30, 146 left in the half. And, he tr and they travel. What a good turnover. We need this. So coach is pleading his case. What happened? What happened? She walked all the way to Park Hall. Yeah, she definitely jumped up and down there on that one. So, okay. Liverpool brings it across. Look for her inside by Miner or Fiona Hunt or McKenzie Bennett on the outside. She has a little sweet stroke. There's Fiona outside to Livero. Yes, baby, a three-pointer. 33-32, 120 left. What a pretty play. I think she has 12 points just from threes today. We'll check at halftime as that three is missed and re the rebound by Miner. Miner brings it across. One minute and five seconds left in the halftime. Can't wait to see the stats for this one. Miner looking for Livero. She missed it. Livero coming, getting back quickly. Had any, oh, they're going to call that a block. She was in position, I think. <laughs> we have five team fouls for this half. They have two for this quarter, I mean. Adeline's going to get uh, two shots. First shot. No good. Rebound by Miner. He gives it back to the ref. <laughs> I can't wait for baseball season. I'm, by, I'm going. Is there a Barnes and Nobles around here, or is it in the mall? I'm gonna have to go get a baseball book because here's the thing. We're gonna talk baseball as I'm talking baseball at at y'all's games. I can rub that picture of the World Championship the Braves have got. Does your coach know I'm coming to do all this? Okay. Because <laughs> the athletic director knows. Good move. Oh, too hard for Fiona Hunt. That was a good give. That was a good try for give and go. Miner slows her down, though. Editing looking for Wardwell. She rebounds by Fiona Hunt. Miner gets it and gives it back to Livero. Nine seconds, eight seconds, seven seconds. Miner's going to go all the way up. And she gets fouled with 2.9 seconds left. Miner's not scared to go take it to the hoop. She gets her placement. I can't wait to see the stat sheets for this one. Riley Miner's a freshman forward, 5'9", from Windsor, New York. Windsor High School. Short on the first one. For the second shot for Riley Miner. So got it in there. 34-32 with 2.9 seconds left. Can editing get it across there? She throws it. Woo, that was close. So halftime. Your Casanova Wildcats 34, NVU Johnson 32. We'll be back in about 10 minutes or so with the stats. See you in a minute.
Welcome back to Casanova in New York. I'm the sports guy, John Christopher. Very action-packed first half. NDU Johnson, tough team. Casanova women's team, the Wildcats, even tougher. 34-32, Casanova leads. Here are the stats for the NVU Johnson Casanova first half for NVU Johnson. Field goals, they shot 11 for 37 for 29 percent, three points, two for 14 for 14 percent, free throws, eight for 12 for 66 percent. Scoring for NVU Johnson, Gabriel Wardell. Wardwell, 10. Adeine, 14. Bordeaux had two. Uh, Gunnell had four. And Barry had two for a total score of 32 points. For Casanova, Fiona Hunt had four. Ariana Henry had eight. And I knew that Luce, Lucia. Livera would have a lot of points. She leads all, all players with 15 points. Mackenzie Bennett, four, and Riley Miner with three, total of 34. 12 points for NVU Johnson in the paint. Casanova, 10. Turnovers, 10. NVU Johnson, four for Kaz. Second chance points. NVU Johnson, two. Casanova four, fast break, NDU Johnson four, uh, Kaz none. Bench points six for NDU Johnson and Casanova none. That is our stats for the first half. Please join us on the YouTube channel. Second half for action between NDU Johnson and Casanova. This is game two of two. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. Follow me at sports guy, John. Or on Facebook, aka Chris Clanton, or John Christopher itself. So we look forward to talking to you in just a few minutes. About five minutes left before the game starts. Teams are coming back out for warm-ups, and we'll be right back with you. And in turn, R. A. Kinney will be with us too. And we'll see you in just a few minutes. Bye bye.
Welcome back to Casanova in New York. Myself, John Christopher, intern R.A. Kenny. Been a very eventful first half. Breaking news was Tom Brady retiring, but then he's deleted the retweet. So somebody's changed his mind, I guess, or he's changed his mind. It may not have been real. So, so Miner brings it back out. So our, our starters is Ariana Henry, Livero, Fiona Hunt, Mackenzie Bennett, who just swooshed it. Nice shot. 34, 36-32, 9-46. And she had, Livero had like 15 points. So both sides, 36-32, 9-34 left. Looking, I'm sure they getting new plays or open shots, rebound. Miner gets possession. Livero brings it across. They're pointing to the left side to start. Ariana Henry, ooh, she about turn over that. There's Miner. Look at, oh, she got it back. Back out. Livero's looking for the open shot. Oh, there's McKenzie Bennett. What a sweet little shot. Oh, oh, oh. Almost got that. 8.52 left. 36-32. We've had that happen a couple times that the ball just gone in and out of the basket there. Yeah, I was kind of hoping it just went right in. Open shot by, who is that? 22? That is Tullis, Tillotson, 36-34. Casanova leads with 8.35 left. They had to fix the net again, I guess because, you know, they can't reach up there. But he's like nine foot six. So I don't understand why. You know, it's funny. I've seen that happen a lot here, and uh, I never used to see it in the NBA until the other night where the Knicks, they were playing, and then Obi Toppin had a huge slam, and then the net got stuck, and I, I saw that as Bennett drives in a basket and gets it for two. What a play by McKenzie Bennett. She's getting aggressive under there. Adeline brings it across. She tries to go down the baseline. Denied. McKenzie Bennett's dead. They're going to work on Wardlow, I'm sure. Oh, there's a help for that. Rebound by Miner. Good job. Double teamed Wardwell. They need to do that every time because she's the only offense they've got. So Ariana Henry setting it up to Miner, who's going to go up. She got fouled. Two shots. Miner. It is a hack right to her wrist there, and obviously you can't do that, so now she'll send it to stripe for two. You know, baseball pitchers are so smart. <laughs> Thank you. I know. <laughs> I still think y'all can't eat, eat, um, eat or hit a 68-mile-an-hour high-rise fastball from a softball. I don't think you can do that. That's like an 80-mile-an-hour baseball. We had that discussion with a pitcher last night. Or a 90-mile-an-hour soccer ball coming at you. Second shot by Miner. Boom. 38, 30, 39, 34, 7, 39 left. I wouldn't want to be in the middle of a 90-mile-an-hour soccer ball. Remember, I'm the senior citizen here. Good defense. 1-3-1 one, one by, by Kessel. Oh, look at that, Ariana Henry. Took the pass. There she goes. Oh. She got back quickly, though. Audie. Oh, what a play by Audie. 36, 39, 39, 36, 706. Uh oh. I don't. Looks like it's some of the players from the last game, from the men's game, and. Looks like the referees just told them to go off, and they're just, they got to leave. They're, this is not a good look for them right now. No. So, ball out by Casanova. 
Livero brings it across, going to bring it across the timeline with Ariana Henry to her right. Livero is a swift guard. She don't, she, oh, got a block by Wardwell. That's good. So that's foul number one or two for them. Wardwell's going to have to come out. So Destiny Piters waiting to come in, who takes Henry's spot. Miner tells uh, J- Coach Jackson something, and then she looking for get the ball. There she is. There's McKenzie Ben on in and out. I thought that was in for sure. NVU Johnson definitely uh, got it across very quickly. Piters is playing really good defense. Staying home. Oh, that was a little pick play. She can't do that. Stepped outside. 39-36, Casanova has the ball. Miner comes back, and Livero brings it across the timeline back to Miner. Miner's got something set up. <laughs> Soccer players. Oh, got a foul. Sorry about the camera work. Can't pay them good money for this. That extra zero goes in, doesn't go in your bank account. <laughs> yes. NVU Johnson. Oh, good play by Miner. Look at that. Center field. And she's going to go all the way underneath. Oh, she got it back. She's going to go right back underneath it to McKenzie Bennett. Back to Destiny Piters. Back to McKenzie Bennett. Livero for the long. Rebound by Fiona Hunt. Back up by Fiona Hunt. Then she's smart enough to go back up. And she gets fouled. Good defense. Good defense. Good offensive rebounds. We needed those bad. 39 36, 544 in the third quarter. Side out by Casanova. Inside Fiona Hutch. She's going to go left. Pretty. What a move by Fiona Hutch. 41 36 or 531 left. I am not going to have a voice when I come back Monday. Four games in two days? Nope. Um, they, oh, Fiona Hunt to Miner. Miner's going to get that nice, sweet roll in. Thank you so much, A1. 43 36. 5.15 left in the third quarter. How about a timeout, NBU Johnson? Miner. Woo, she wearing it out today. We'll be right back. Talking breakfast foods. I do fruits with cottage cheese and tomatoes for breakfast and had no bagels this week. Nothing beats a sesame seed bagel, though, with veggie cream cheese and a slice of bacon on it, though. Yeah, but they won't put bacon on mine. I can't get that. The and one for minor. Boom. 44-36, eight-point lead by Casanova. 5-12 left in the third quarter. So 
definitely inspired players right now. They start smelling blood. Rebound by Livrio, who is bringing it across the timeline. There she goes. I thought she had the baseline. Fiona Hunt. Oh. Fiona is not one somebody you need to mess with. She will jump on the ground very quickly. So it's going to be N.B. Johnson's ball. 4.44 left, 44-36, Kaz leads. Long shot, it's going to be out. Out on NV, NV, John, NVU Johnson. Miner goes and gets the ball real quick. That's a, that's a leadership role right there. So Miner taking it out. Livero going to bring it up the court. That has become a very ferocious tandem right there. Ferocious. There's Mackenzie Bennett looking for the open shot. Wardwell preventing her from coming in. There's a shot by Miner who's going to get in there. She gets fouled by NBU Johnson. Little reaching foul there, and she'll head to the stripe now. Oh, because we're at one and one now. Foul number six. Ariana Henry's filling the zone right now. Along with Fiona and McKenzie and Livero. She has the neatest stroke when it comes to a free throw. She does. She has the neatest little stroke to her pre-shooting. I love the way she does that. Does it the same way every time. Now, <laughs> so... Oh, so let me ask this. Do you have the same rhythm when you go to pitching? Yeah, I, I always get it right into my rhythm there. I might switch it up every now and then to mess with the hitter's timing, but you, you just got to do what you're, you're accustomed to. Nice shot by – that was um, at a 44-38 with 3.57 left. So everybody has their own little rhythm. But I like, I like minors. Ariana Henry looking for the inside. There's Fiona Hunt. Back out, McKenzie Bennett. Rebound, Fiona Hunt. Back to Ariana Henry. Rebound, Wardwell. 44-38, 3.35 left in the third quarter. Adenine tried to go around. She's going to use the blocking with her body. Coach for MVU Johnson is not happy right now. Going to try to get Wardwell. Ah, turnover. Ariana Henry. There she goes. And there's a foul. She wasn't going to let her have that shot. Should be a shooting foul, so she should be getting two here. She'll still head to the line, though, because we're in the one and one Right, that was Gunnell for MVU Johnson. So they, they change out their players. First shot by Henry. Short. What are you practicing your golf over there? Yeah, I'm working on my masters. <laughs> I really want to do a golf match. I would love to. Golf is coming to Cas next year. It is. Is it men's and women's, I believe, or men's? It should be both. Oh, men's? You're going to do golf. I can't wait. I love golf. I play golf. So, NVU Johnson looking for the open shot. Ooh. That was by Parker. 41, 44, 41 with 258 left. They're coming across the timeline. They're saying go to the left. 
looking for Mackenzie Bennett. Oh, look at this. Miner's going to get an open shot, and she gets fouled going to the baseline. Nice play. She's been at the free throw line a lot this quarter, and that just shows you she's not afraid to drive and get to the basket. Miner went to the free throw line. Let's see here. She was one for two first half. Nice shot. 45-41 with 2.43 left. Second shot. Second shot. Did not make it. 45-41 with 2.40 left in the third quarter. Long shot. Rebound, Henry. A foul on Gunnell. That's her second in a row there. So timeout. Full timeout, Kaz. 2.30 left. We're going to take a small break and come right back. See you in a minute. So Ariana Henry is going to get two shots, I believe. No, one and one. Starting lineup is going to be Livero, Fiona Hunt, Mackenzie Bennett, Miner, and Henry. We needed those. 46 41, 230 left. Free throws we need. The second shot is good. 47-41 with 2.30 left. Henry gets a break, and Destiny Piters comes in. Piters is a very animated, hardworking player. I see her every day. She always has a beautiful attitude and works very hard on her play. Nice shot by in the corner by, I believe that was Gunnell. Number two, okay. That, oh, it was Gunnell for a two shot. 47-43, two minutes left in the third quarter. So, two Fiona Hunt looking for the open person. Miner gets it to Mackenzie Bennett. Inside to Miner, nice give and go. 49-43 with 141 left. Good defense by Piters. Oh, try to get to Wardwell and it didn't work. Rebound, Piters, who gets it to Livero. That coach is having a chat with a player. It's got to be tough to be a college coach and try to motivate 18, 19, 20-year-olds. Oh, nice play. She just lost control of it. How do you call that? But it's... it's so I don't know what they're going to call. Quick little discussion and... They call in the foul on Miner, which is what it looked like initially, and that's what I thought it was. And they had called the travel, which confused the both of us up here, but they overturned it to be a foul. So now he's having to explain to Coach Jackson what was called because he changed the call. 49-43 with 107 left. Oh, he hasn't decided yet. 
Tom Brady hasn't decided yet. But you know what? It's coming. She he walked. She walked. You know when they do that, Destiny Potters does this skipping and she does the walking as she goes. I think that's the funniest thing. So Miner's gonna bring it across. Livero's getting a break, well deserved break. Fiona can hold the ball a little too long and she got it taken away from her. Miner. Miner got beat on a two on one. She couldn't help that. 49 45, 43, 45 with 28 seconds left. Henry's in the ball game with Miner, Fiona Hunt, DSC Piters, and Mackenzie Bennett. 17 seconds left on the shot clock, and now there's a foul. Coach has got to go get a drink of water. That cup took the brunt of his frustration. That cup had a family. <laughs> Poor cup. Oh, Henry going to uh, almost. 49-45 with 19 and a half seconds left in the third quarter. Foul was on Gunnell. That's our third. Henry got the second one, 50 to 45 with 19, eight, 19 seconds left. No shot clock here, so they can take the last few seconds and set up a play. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't try to get Wardwell or get um, somebody on the inside, but Wardwell's not in there right now, so Adeline takes a long shot. Henry gets the rebound into the third quarter. Your Casanova Wildcats 50, NVU Johnson 45. Time for adjustments for everybody. We'll see you in a minute. He's in control. Welcome back to Casanova in New York. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. We're in the fourth quarter where Casanova Wildcats are leading 50 to 45 on senior day for the players, on the men. I'm not sure if they're doing a senior day for the women today. There's Jeff Eversall. Nice to see you, buddy. There's my former boss, Jimmy Walker. Nice to see you, too. Hope you're feeling better. I know you had some surgery a while back. It is a temperature of five degrees, and we score. I don't know who scored that. Lucio Livrio scored 52, 45. Five degrees here in upstate New York, and it feels five degrees all the way through. And so you know I wore my Tennessee stuff today. Everybody knows I'm from Tennessee. I tell everybody. Oh, rebound, and it went in. That is a shot by... Parker, good shot by Parker. 52-48 with 9.22 left in the game. Coach Jackson's got, got to have pins and needles in his stomach. This one here. They have played so well to get to this point. Fiona's going to go inside, and she thought she got fouled, but she didn't. They got back in time. Adeline going to shoot the ball. Rebound. Miner's going to get called for hitting the player. Miner pleading her case, thinking that she flopped there, but got a lot of body on that one. There was, there was no flopping in that one.
See, I don't understand. Those guys are like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, they can't jump up there and grab the net. I know one of them soccer guys could. I know for sure my friend over there could. I know you can. I probably could at 52 years old, senior citizen myself. Rebound by Miner. Liberal's going to bring it up. I like having an extra person I could cut up just a little bit. Hey, listen, I'm happy to be back here in the booth. I know I got a lot of practice going on with baseball, but whenever I'm free, I'm all here with you. I appreciate that. We will argue about the Braves and the Mets for sure. And if I, I'm just scared we're not going to get the Freeman re-signed. He goes to the Yankees. They still ain't going to be any good. The Yankees are done. I made some people mad now. But here goes Henry. Oh, that. What? Okay. 824 left, 5248. She went some flopping. I think while Henry was driving, she might have just dribbled it off her ankle there and just went out of bounds there. Timeout uh, here in Casanova. So now we're going to take a little break and come back. I've got uh, Jimmy Walker on there. Hello, Sabrina. She's running for county county mayor in Chattanooga. So, NVU Johnson ball. So Adenine's going to try to come inside. Fiona's not going to. And Mackenzie Bennett, good defense. Adenine. Got that shot. It wasn't easy. 52-50 with 8.04 left in the game. Good play by um, MVU Johnson. Looking for the open person. Miner looking for the pass. Fiona Hunt going baseline. She got blocked. Coming back. Oh, yes, nice play by McKenzie Bennett. Livero is bringing it down very slowly, letting the clock run, 52-50. Casanova is, you know, Miner's got a little hip, hip person there. Every time she moves there, she, they're right there. Coach has figured out she is uh, hitting her shots. There goes Henry. And the shot. How's that a shot? No, I disagree. I disagree. They hit the rim. That's that's a bad call right there. I don't know how they called that one. They didn't call the one earlier in the game that I pointed out. That clearly hit the rim and should have been back in play. Should have. That was not a turnover, but we're, what are we? We're just the guys that talk about basketball. Oh, good play by Miner. Good play by Miner. Long shot from the corner. Rebound, Fiona Hunt. There's Liverell. She's like, give it to me. I'll take it up for you. Fiona's like, okay. 6.38 left in the game. 52-50, Casanova leads. They need a basket here. A, a bucket would be... What? It, she kind of gave up on the ball. Oh, they tied it up, 52-52. 
6.20 left in the game. Tied it up. I think she thought it was going out of bounds. I don't think why, I think that's why she quit going after the ball. Yeah, when that's happening, when, you're, when the ball's rolling there, you just got to kind of box her out like if you were going for the rebound. Right. Livero's looking for the 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Livero. Rebound by... Barry. So it'll be two shots now. They could possibly take the lead here with 550. She's tying her shoe. So Destiny Piters is coming in for Ariana Henry. So we got Minor, Mackenzie Bennett, Piters, uh, Livero, and Fiona Hunt. First one she misses. That's good. One shot. For the second shot here. Fifty-three, fifty-two, five fifty left. NVU Johnson takes the lead. Livero's going to come down and take it slowly down past the timeline. Kenzie Bennett to Minor. A little hack in there. Look at that. She, she thought she got fouled. They're coming back. I don't know how she didn't step out of bounds doing that. Long shot. Rebound. Minor. That was by Gunnell. That's a good shot, though. Looking for the shot there. There's uh, Piters. There's Miner, who's going to take the shot. Oh, rebound, Miner. And going to be NBU Johnson's ball. Now we're tying shoes. To me, that's delay of game. Take timeout. Full timeout with 4.55 left in the game. NVU Johnson, 53. Casanova, 52. They do that and lay on the ground in football and like they're hurt and stuff, delay of the game. It's interesting that two players in a row have done that. Be right back. All righty, we're back. Thank you, Jimmy. Hey, Doug Schultz. So it is NBU Johnson's ball. 4.55 left in the game. We're in Casanova, New York, in upstate New York, east of Syracuse. Shot by Adenine, rebound by, oh, it's out of bounds. Stepped on the... Uh, Timeline there. Ariana Henry is going to give Fiona Hunt a break. Going to go with a four guard set with Mackenzie Bennett in the middle. I'm going to assume. Kind of a four, something like what Golden State does a four guard set. Speaking of Golden Destiny Piders going to go all the way. She got fouled though. It's going to be two shots. So if you heard that Draymond Green signed a long-term contract with TNT to do their NBA pregame show when he can. For real. Look it up. He's got an active NBA player who's going to do, going to do uh, the TNT pregame show with Shaq and them. That was announced yesterday. Block. I know my stuff. I'm telling you. 
That's very surprising. I did not see that. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's like you, you know, being an all-star pitcher. Mackenzie Ben, oh, good give and go. I thought that was really going to go. Adeline missed it. Rebound, Ariana Henry. It's one on three. I hope she's going to wait for some help. And she squishes it. 54-53, 4-12. Sometimes you just got to play street ball in a game that you played growing up, and that's what works. <laughs> it's sometimes. Ooh. 55-54, 3.59 left. Don't let her start getting hot. That was Barry. Don't let Barry get hot. We're in trouble. That was a long shot. You can't let anybody in NVU get hot. But we are. There goes Miner. Oh, that's Livero. I'm sorry. No, no. Yep, that's Livero. Boom. Ariana Henry, two. 56 55 with 328 left in the game. This is going to go backwards and forwards. Oh, good play by Piders. Almost had a steal there. Almost had a steal. Long shot. Missed it by Adding. Rebound. Reset by NDU Johnson. Long shot. Rebound. Minor. Had a had a, a goal in the way. I, I believe that would have been a pretty good save, though. Fantastic hustle there. Just bad luck hitting the back of the backboard. That was fantastic energy there. Fiona Hunt comes back in, and Destiny Piters goes for a break. Don't let them have that big, long shot from the corner. There's that long shot. Ooh, in and out. Rebound, Ariana Henry. Two on three. Fiona Hunt. Ah, oh, she set it right back up. Good play by Fiona Hunt being smart there. Livero got a little somebody on her, on her hip there. Mackenzie Bennett. And it's a good shot, though. 56-55 with 220 left. This is going to be a... Oh, rebound. Wow, I thought she was out. Rebound. Oh, she got whacked by Olivero. Not going to give her that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Not going to give her that shot. Got to make her earn those two points. Ball's just flying around right now. And now she's going to head to the stripe for two. Yep. I mean, the loose ball as far as. Well, thanks to your dad for that information. Yes, thank you, Dad, for the Tom Brady updates throughout the course of this game. What is Dad's name? It is also Ken. It's also Ken. <laughs> Are you a junior? Oh, okay. R.A. Kenny Jr. <laughs> That's why I go by KJ in baseball. 56-56. <laughs> with 2.08 left in the game. Get it to Ariana Henry, back to Livero, who's going to bring it across the timeline. You be a little patient here, a little patient. They came a long ways. Well, howdy. So Miner looking for the open person. No, Ariana Henry, she got blocked. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Do leave your comments as far as where you live and where you're hearing this from in the comment section of the YouTube page as well as the Facebook page. You should follow me. I got the best sports page in Facebook, a.k.a. Chris Clanton. Ariana Henry for two. Huge free throws right now. She's got to hit both of these. Yeah, they're big. Boom. 57, 57, 4, and 47 left. They got to get the second one. This has a feeling of a whoever has the ball at the last couple of seconds is going to win this game. And I'll hope that that's going to be Casanova. Boom. 58, 57. Hopefully nobody hit, of the opposing team hits a three. Boom. 
That screen didn't work too well. She paid the price for it. Oh, good play. It's going to Casanova. Comes off. Barry. Oh, they're going to give a little. Well, they're going to be all over the all over, and they don't want to give. They don't want to give Livero a open shot because she's been hot all game. Just got to get the two point bucket here. You'd obviously like the three to go up by four, but you just want to push it to three as Miner drives in and gets it up by three now with a minute twelve to go. What a nice play by Miner! Took the baseline. Now they're going to bring Wardwell back in. They need that for the last minute or so. And rebound, Fiona Hunt. Now she gets it back to Livero. Miner does. Now they're trying to get it up. Our ball, last touch by MDU Johnson. Now Wardwell is going to come back in and take um, Barry's spot. They're going to try to go inside with her, I guarantee you. Kenzie Bennett, you're going to say something, then you forgot. Kenzie Bennett to Miner. Miner needs his points. Yes! 62, 57, 38 seconds left. This is big. At Eden, she got blocked. That might be five fouls for her, for Henry. This, they got a little minute to figure this out, don't they? Destiny Piters. So we're going to take a little time out here. 33 seconds left. A lot can happen. 62-57, Casanova up. Right now, if I'm Coach Jackson, just got to come up with a play to just, you know, just got to dribble out the clock a little bit. You know that they're going to come and foul you if you get the ball. And, and even if they do get the ball, you just got to play some tough defense. No free shots. I mean, you just got to hit those free throws. So whatever he asked the, the official, he got motivated, went in and waited on the team to tell them that information. So we're up by five. So I'm assuming the big guy is the lead official. <laughs> the pitcher can't hang in with the old man. That's what it is. I had a huge leg cramp right now during the middle while I was talking. That's kind of why I was all over the place. My leg was just in pain and agony. It was just bad. A little salt in your body. I know my mom watching at home is probably going to text me that I need to eat a banana now. He can't get in the lunchroom. <laughs> so we're going to shoot one and one. Adeline's going to shoot one and one. I know that I have butchered her name the whole game, and I want to apologize, but I could not get to someone who could tell me how to pronounce it correctly. So one and one. First shot. She got it. 58-62. Four-point lead. Now they're going to get next to uh, Piters. She's going to have a... Uh, Distant cousin, right close. Ah, oh, she got both of them. 59-62. 30. Going to be a full court press. Get to Livero. Livero is going to look for to Minor, to Mackenzie Bennett, to Desi Piters. Oh, no. Going to get back. So hopefully we'll get this game. Long shot. She hit the three. Wow, 14.4 seconds left. Liverell brings it back, 62-62. There's Mackenzie Bennett and Fiona Hunt. I thought she got fouled. Call timeout. Wow, she hit that three. That's an unrel unrelated. Saved their game. That was Tillotson. Tillotson. She hadn't shot all game until then. 
We may be going to overtime with this. Just got to play tough defense here. No fouls. Just, I mean, the referee's just got to let this one play out unless it's a clearly obvious foul, but this is, this is getting crazy. Well, we're going to have a possible overtime here. Coach has got re-energized re here. Kids got re-energized. No, I'm sorry. That was Darden that hit that. They can put Wardwall at the bottom. Side out for Johnson. We're going to go to the opposite side. Oh, now they can't figure out which side of the ball to give. They were on this side when they called the timeout, so it has to be on this side. It's whatever side that you call a timeout, that's where the ball has to go out. So it needs to be on this side. But, okay. They got to Google that one. They got to try to win this thing. Oh, we're going overtime. Overtime in Casanova. This is just becoming an instant classic here. This is going to be a one heck of a finish. Either way, it's going to be a great game. Welcome back to Casanova in New York. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. We are in overtime for five minutes here in central New York, upstate. And we had a lead, and Durden hit a three-pointer out of nowhere. And I don't know what's going on. Oh, we're changing clothes. Why are we changing clothes? I'm not quite understanding. I'm not sure what just happened there. I don't really want to know. Anyways, for the start of overtime, it's going to be Bennett going to jump for Kaz. And Wardwall for NVU Johnson. Okay, Livero's going to get the ball first. So alternate row goes back to NVU Johnson. 62-62. Yep, and Fiona Hunt. Oh, I, I don't understand this. Fiona Hunt got fouled finally after about three of them. But it was good hustle by Fiona Hunt and McKenzie Bennett. So anything after this should be what, two shots? Two shots on the foul? So they're bringing in a... He gave the ball before she got off the field, off the court. They had six on the court there. Yeah, six on the court and didn't give time. You just can't do that. Lavero passes it in to Bennett. Back to Lavero. Down the baseline. Throws one up wildly. No good. So Johnson editing comes back through, looking for the lone three and rebound Fiona Hunt from Durden. Durden tried that again from the same spot and didn't work this time. So Lavero is going to bring it across the timeline slowly. Take your time, look for the open man. So Miner getting, getting uh, fouled by Durden. So this should be two shots. Quick little block and foul there and. Actually she I, got hacked. Oh, she got hacked? She got hacked. What, that's what this means, you get hacked. So 
I thought it was a blocking foul myself. So Miner is going to get two shots. First shot, good. 63-62 with 4-11 left in the overtime. They should do sudden death overtime in basketball like they do in the NFL. First person to score, that's it. What do you think of that? Y'all put that in the comments. Yeah. 64-62 with 4-11. Don't you think that would work? No, I think the overtime rules how it is now is perfect in basketball. Football in the NFL has got to change, though. No. Rebound. Wardwall. And taken away by Fiona Hunt. And gets it to Miner. Miner makes a little move. And there. Oh, rebound. By Destiny Piters. Look at that. What a hustle by Destiny Piters. And gets it to Livero. I couldn't see it because of the computer, but she hung in there. Nice play. Livero, short. Piters gets back very quickly, along with Livero. The slow editing down. They try to hit it with a three. Wardwall, Durden, short. So I don't understand the chance that they got in trouble for being over there, but they can be over here and cheer. That I don't understand. I guess it's just because they're on the right side. I, I'm not sure. Or oh, they criticize the officials. All right, Liberals bringing it across. 310 left in the overtime. Casanova Wildcats leading 64 62. Miner looking for the open lane. Back out to McKenzie Bennett to Destiny Piters. Livero. There he goes. Miners goes, give it to me. Yes! 66 62. 244 left. What a play by Miner. Said, give it to me. Long shot. Rebound. Wardwall. She puts it right back in. 66 64 with 229 left. That's okay, though. As long as Kaz has the ball up by possession or with the game tied, that's all that matters. So, look, look, Miner looking for the open person. Don't give her that open shot. Better play good defense because she's going to take it just like she does there. What rebound, Miner? She takes it right back. And it's NVU Johnson's ball. Alternate possession goes back to us, which means Casanova. 66 64, under two minutes. Trying to take that long, they want that long shot. Boom. That was a big three. Is that a two? 67 66. No, that was a three. They gave her a three. They're up by one, 67 66. They're not, they don't care what we say. <laughs> All right, now, there's their livero. Look at that. What a creep. Look at that. 68, 67, but 122 left. This crowd is going crazy. Can you hear them? Student session going crazy. They're all going to be horse tomorrow, Monday. Wardwell, rebound by livero with one minute left. 68-66. They gave her a three at the beginning. Timeout. Casanova Wildcats. 51 seconds left. My intern's going to say something, then we're going to take a little break. This is the this is the point where you got to hit this shot and just play defense. You got to dribble out as much clock as you can. You got 16 seconds on a shot clock. Take 15.9, then shoot the ball. We have a full timeout. We'll be right back.
Back to Casanova in New York. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. We're in overtime with 51 seconds left. Casanova leads 68-66. The timeout by Casanova, so it'll be a side-out ball. Both teams are, are at wit's end as far as getting adjusted to this play. Got 15 seconds left on the shot clock. We got to get at least one more bucket with this. Vibrio's like, leave it alone. Leave me alone now. She's going to go inside, outside to McKenzie Bennett. Destiny Piters take the shot. Oh, no shot. Oh. She delayed on putting it up in the air. 68-66 with 34.8 seconds left. Long shot. Loud, loud, loud in here. Nope, rebound Fiona Hunt. Livero going to bring it down. They're all going to try to foul her. There's Fiona Hunt. She gets the, oh, get the ball. It's going to be our ball. Cast another ball, jump ball. Now he's going to go and interject something. Why does he always do that? You've already awarded possession to Kaz. I don't know why you're going to try and overturn it now. It's clearly Kaz's ball. Every time he does that, that coach says something. So I don't know if it's influenced or whatever. I call the game. This has to be Kaz's ball. This is, this, this is just – they've made some questionable calls today already. They've got to figure it out down there. This is, this is too close of a game to be messing up these calls. 12.8 seconds left. Casanova – Lead 68-66. How much conversation can you have? The last possession was in Johnson. So it should it goes flips over to Casanova. So that can't be the discussion. That's what it is. He's questioning the jump ball, which they are correct. I'd be the first to admit if it was their ball. That's what they're discussing. This is going to have a huge determination in who's going to win this game because there's 12.8 seconds left on the clock. This is it. Whoever has the ball right now, Johnson's going to, uh, NBU Johnson's going to either foul and send him to the line and hope for the best, or, or they're going to get the shot with a chance to win. He just put doubt in the official's mind when they had the call correct the first time. I can criticize and not get in trouble with the NCAA. Coaches can't, but I can. Call the game as you see it. Good thing. Or they should have re instant replay in Division Three college basketball. They should tune into our stream right now and just hit rewind. They could do that. This is the correct call as far as. Kaz Ball. Has ball. So Liverio and Miner during this had a discussion on how they're going to get this ball out. As soon as they get the ball to Miner, they're going to foul her. And that's fine. She can hit those two, two free throws because she is a free throw shooter. So call the call, which they did. So there it is. They're going to foul her. And they, 10 point, they waited a way long time. So 10.3 seconds. It's been two shots. That's five fouls for her. You've got to hit both of these. You need to hit one. And then if they get the ball back, you have to foul. Send them to the line. Only let them get two shots. You can't let another three happen. Durden's back in the ball game. She hit that three to go send this into overtime. First shot by Miner. Boom. Oh, she missed it. Second shot by Miner. She needs to hit this for sure. Swoosh. 
That's what I'm talking about, 69-66. 10.3 seconds left. Timeout here in Casanova in overtime, 69-66. R.A. Kinney wants to say something. This is the last possession of the game here. You, you, you got to force a two. They're obviously going to be looking for the three. You just you got to take them to the line and, and, and only allow them to get two shots. We're going to take a small break and come right back. Adam Sports got John Christopher. Timeout by NBU Johnson. We're le Castle leading 69-66 in overtime. So they're going to look for the lone three. Hit it. Tied it up again. And she gets the ball, minor. So we're going to go in overtime again. This is absolutely crazy. They're going into double overtime. I, I don't know. I told you my overtime rule is much better. First shot, done and over with. Then you don't have to go have, have this for a whole five minutes. I think I, I think I got this right. First shot, done. What more can you cry about? So we're going to do it again. 69-69 with five minutes to play. They hit a huge three-pointer way out there. That's two that unrel unrelated, I mean, that didn't do much until right now. You, I just, you just can't leave them open. You got to foul and send them to the line. Doesn't matter. It's a brand new ball game right now. Cavs just got to come out strong here. I know they're tired, but tough game. Should put the clock on. She put the clock on. Oh. I thought he set it all up. So we're going to jump ball again between McKenzie Bennett and Wardwall. MVU Johnson gets this, this, this particular jump ball. And turnover. Going to be Casanova ball, 4.53 left, 69-69. This is the second overtime. Oh, the players are getting involved. Everybody's getting involved. I like this. This is the way college basketball is. This is the way college basketball is supposed to be. Everybody's involved in the game right now. You got both men's teams from the games before involved. You got every student that's here, all the parents, everybody, all family members are here, and everything's everybody's going crazy. As loud as it is, lot five seconds. Well, too much time. 69-69 with overtime times two. Going to be a long, nice shot. By Tillotson. Liverell brings it across, 71-69 in double overtime. Liverell to the corner to McKenzie Bennett. Looking for Miner. Miner's going to take a long three. Rebound almost, Destiny Piters, but Wardlaw is a little bit taller. Oh, she fell, and she got bought. Nope. She, time out. She got nailed down there. <laughs> Miners all over the place. Coach was smart enough to call time out, so it's this ball. 71-69 with 3.56 left in Overtime times two. You remember in college football, we had seven overtimes with LSU and what, Texas A&M? Seven overtimes. Well, let's hope we don't get to seven today. Uh, but if we do, as long as Kaz wins, it'll be worth it. 
He's a homer. I try to be professional, but he's a homer because he's a baseball player. You know what? I'm going to have a fancy hat like you, too. Yeah. Size medium. So, 356 for the times two, 71-69. NVU Johnson leading right now in overtime. They're trying to hold the ball. I don't blame them. I would. Uh, long shot. Rebound. Minor. That's a good rebound by Minor. Basketball team's involved. There's uh, McKenzie. Oh, yes. McKenzie had a good shot there. 71-71 with 325 left. Yeah, I think the student section left. And rebound by Wardlaw. She's a little taller. 73-71 plus one for Wardlaw. Oh, Wardlaw might have gotten hurt. She may have hit her head or something. Oh, she's okay. I don't know what that means, but uh, she's hurting. We're going to take a small break and come right back, okay?
So Warlaw is off the court now. She is hurt. And uh, so number 20, which is uh, Barry, is going to shoot the free throws for her. Um, it's hard to reset here when somebody's hurt, a kid's hurt. As a parent, I can't even think what to think. And she misses it. Rebound by Mackenzie Bennett. 313 left. D times two on the overtime. 73-71. Miner trying to make that move. Almost. She almost got picked. Miner. Yes. 73-73 with two. 258 left. So we're tied up again. They're, they're watching the game instead of calling the game. You're going to try to do that long shot because, you know, they hit them every now and then. Good defense by Casanova. Long shot, short. Good inside play. by uh, Barry. 75-73 with 224 left. Plenty of time in overtime times two. And you know what? Miner did it again. 75-75 with 215 left. Piter's almost got it. She's going to shoot the three. Nope. Rebound. They called a push off. So there's going to be two shots for that. We'll take that. This is what Kaz needs to hit both of these right now. You have Miner at the line, one of your best free throw shooters. Got to hit both of these, and you'll be up by two, and you got to play good defense. That's Barry's third foul. And she nails it. 76-75. NVU Johnson's men's team over in mocking uh, Minor. Trying to act like they're in uh, Cameron Center for Duke. She hits the second one. Yep. 77-75. 2.03 left. What a good game. Good long shot. That was a two-pointer. That's two-pointer. 77-77. Coach Johnson's like. What are the odds if this game gets tied up again on a three to end of the quarter? Let's not talk about that. I need fajitas. <laughs> we were kidding with his dad, and his dad told us to go get uh, fajitas. But he's going to send money for it, so I'm okay with that. Miner. Fiona Hunt. Back out to Miner. Oh, he got the, she got the ball. That's a shot clock. There ain't nothing she could do. She was way out there. Turnover by Casanova with 122 left. 77-77. Probably the best game of the year for either for either men's or women's basketball. Good energy. Piters is all over them. Oh, good. Uh, very good play by Piters and Fiona Hunt. Good defense. They didn't get any points that time. So, Livio is going to bring it across the timeline. She's had her opponent at the hip for the whole time. There's Livio. Oh, she just she missed the shot. Piters is getting back to make sure she's not going to get the shot. Long shot. Missed it. Rebound by Piters. And it's going to be Casanova ball. 77-77. Going to be a timeout by Casanova. Now, alternating possession goes back to NVU Johnson after this possession. 
Lots of confusion here still on these jump balls. See, I never understood that. I never knew, under, didn't understand why you never just did like the NBA does and just do an actual jump ball instead of alternating possessions. Oh, like they do in the NBA. It would make a lot more sense, and it's a lot, you know, it's not, not to say it's fair, but it's easier to do a jump ball than it is to figure out who had alternating possession the previous play. So why not just go with my overtime rule, first shot and be done? <laughs> we wouldn't be here times two. We got five more to catch up with the LSU game. <laughs> what a great game out here in Casanova, New York. I hope you're listening to us as we're having fun with this, but also very good game by Casanova. NVU Johnson's coach confirming that the uh, alternating possession did go to Cas. So we're making, and the scorekeeper is going to make sure of that. She is the official. So what? Are, now we're going to discuss it. This could have all been avoided if, like, we just had regular jump balls or your wacky overtime rules for sudden death basketball. You do it like in the NFL, do the flip of the coin, whoever gets it, and then, you know, same thing. I said we have a skills competition, rather. Like, you know how they do on, like, also, all, like a that. Shootout. But, like, you know how they have the three point contest, the dunk contest, all that stuff? Like, how they have that, all this stuff? That should be overtime. Well, we just do a shootout like we do in the NHL in overtime. Like a little free throw shootout? That'd be fun. I don't know, three-pointer. We make it. Here we go. Livio Brink gets it out. Miner took it out. So 35 seconds. She, oh, she got the ball. She got it back. She stood on the line. R.A. Kitty, my intern, is livid. 30 seconds left. 77-77. Long so this is, there's no, there's no, there's a second difference between the shot clock and the true clock. So I'll go ahead and attack the ball, watch the, uh, so Pioneers is all over that. Going to get the three? Nope. Rebound, Fiona Hunt. Hurry up, Miner, take the ball. Oh. We're going times three now. And we'll be right back to you after this message. <laughs> times three. We're back in, we're back in Casanova, New York. Times three on overtime, 77-77. Alternate possessions don't mean nothing now. They're going to re-jump. Wardlaw will not be able to jump the ball this time. She has an injury and will be out. So it's going to be Barry jumping, which I think Mackenzie Bennett is a little taller. So it may we may get the they're going to get the we may get the jump ball here. And that's what we did. So, goes to NU Johnson. Livero. Somebody needs to hit a three here. I'm not a proponent of three every time, but we need one. Miner to McKenzie Bennett. Fiona to Piters. Piters needs to make this ball. Yes! Nice job by Piters. 79-77. This is becoming one game, I tell you. It's a great game. 
Rebound by Miner. Miner, Miner, Miner got a jump ball going to be in you, Johnson. Alternating possession will go back to Casanova after this. But you know what? Miner was in there. The Mighty Miner. That's her new nickname for me, the Mighty Miner. Side out for NU Johnson, NVU Johnson. Five seconds. Oh, timeout by NVU Johnson. 79 77. Casanova leads times three. We'll be right back. Dude. Welcome back to Casanova in New York. We are times three. Casanova leading 79-77. Coach Jackson over there is went from looking very suave to very coaching. Now he's lost a tie. He put his glasses back on. Long short. Rebound. And blocked by Minor. No, Livrio. It was a nice play. Liberos coming across the timeline. Miner told her to go to the right side to go to Piters. Piters to Mackenzie Bennett. There it goes, Miner. Yes! And one. They're calling it an on shooting foul. So she's going to head to the, the foul happened before she put the uh, basket up there. And uh, it's going to be two shots. Still going to be two shots. Should have been two shots plus one. This is significant. She's got to hit these. And she does it with all the noise down there. 359 left in times three. 80 to 77. She's going to do that routine every time, no matter if you make noise or whatever. She's going to make that. Oh, she missed that one. 77 to 8, 80 to 77. Cass leads times three with 354 left. Look, they're, MVU Johnson looking for the open, the open player. They're being patient. They're looking for that three is what they're looking for. Oh, good play by Pi by uh, Livrio, and Piters gets it, and he's going to get in the corner. A foul on editing hold. That should be two shots. That's five on her. So Wardlaw. How does she come back in? I don't understand how that happened. She didn't shoot the free throws. I thought once you missed, you couldn't take your free throws, that you couldn't come back into the game. I'm not sure how that works. Two big plays for uh, Piters. She needs to hit these. She needs to hit this bad, the second one. So Wardlow comes back in even after being hurt. Boom. She missed both of them. That's that's big. 3.26 left in the times three. 80 to 77, Casanova. They're going to try to go inside, make penetration. Long three, rebound. Fiona Hunt to Livrio. Nice play. They did not score on that. That's okay with me. So Livrio comes across to McKenzie Bennett. The Piters, Piters trying to go inside. She cannot, she missed that. 80 to 77, 250 left. They needed to not, not allow them to score on this run again. Play good defense. 
Warlow's trying to ask for the ball. He's going to double up. Ooh. Two shot. So 80-79 with 229. That's a two. That's a two. So Liverell's going to go inside. And then McKenzie Bennett got blocked by Wardlow. I don't quite understand how. It's too late. You can't change that. They can't keep doing this. It's a clearly a two. You already called it. Her foot was on the line. Yeah, just because you got the men's player saying it was a three doesn't mean it was. You got the referee looking right at it, and it was a two. Cas ball. Because it, uh, McKenzie Bennett's, uh, oh, bad errant pass to Miner. And two plus one for who is shooting? That is um, Tillotson. So 81 80 with 204 left. So she's going to get a plus one here. And she made it, 82-80. So Libero is going to get foul on. That's Bordeaux. Libero's going to get up. Been a tough fault game. She got tripped by Tillerson. Now she's going to shoot two. Got to get tough here. Liverell's a tough guard. We need these really bad. Two minutes left times three. She made it. That's what I'm talking about. With all the noise going on by the Men's team below me. She ignores them and puts it in. All she got to do is put it back in there again. Boom. 82 82 with two minutes to go. Got a timeout by Casanova. Tied up two minutes times three. So we're back times three, two minutes to go. Livero, who got hurt, tripped, had all kinds of noise from the NVU Johnson basketball, men's basketball team, drained two free throws. And she just drains them. So now, NVU Johnson's ball, Piters is going to harass the guard Bordeaux, Wardlow, who hurt herself earlier, couldn't shoot the free throws, and she goes inside and is able to play. To uh, play. So now Libero is going to bring it back. 84, 82, 137 left. Times three. There he goes Miner. Oh, rebound by NVU Johnson. 84, 82, 126 left. So they're trying to set this up under one minute. The game clock versus the shooting clock is about two seconds. So they're going to have to shoot this. There's a three. Missed it. Rebound by McKenzie. Going to be try to get McKenzie just let it go. So 103 left. NVU Johnson leads 84-82 times three here. Miner, who's got 
Bordeaux all over. Bordeaux is a scrappy little player. Oh no, that wasn't a that was a block or block there. So uh, they score on a long pass, 86-82 with 44 seconds left. Liverpool's going to bring it up. We're at times three here. He tells the coach, get off the court. Oh, we need it. This coach is complaining that the referee stopped it because Riley's, um, I'm, I'm sorry, Miner's shoe was untied and he didn't want to see her get tripped up or whatever. So he called the time to have her tire shoe and the other coach is just complaining now. Editorial by R.A. Kitty. So we're at times three now, 86-82, NVU Johnson leading. Piners gets it back to Liverio to Minor. There's McKenzie, McKenzie Bennett. Boom! We like that. 84, 86, 84 with 26 seconds left, times three. Timeout, NVU Johnson with 19.4 seconds left times three. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Casanova College. I am John Christopher, the sports guy. We're at times three overtime. 86-84, MVU Johnson leads. It's going to be MVU Johnson's ball under the goal. They went to a, a to set up a play. So all they got to do is hold the ball. They're getting... All it is holding the ball. It looks like this may end the game right here. So Livero finally fouls the shooting guard Tillotson with 2.1 seconds left. So Livero fouls out. So Katie Collins comes in, the senior. 5-4 from Manuals, New York, Windsor High School. She get, First shot is good for Tillotson, 87-84. The second shot is good, too, 88-84. So, after three overtimes, MVU Johnson gets a win, 88-84. Been a long game, but we thank you very much for being a part of the YouTube channel of Castillo College. I believe there's a game on Tuesday. There's a game on Tuesday, so we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much, and have a good night.